looks like a type of bomb. Kind of a weird color, don't you think? Ah, wasn't this in Gakona's book? Yeah, I guess I do remember seeing it. Good job noticing. That was back when Kokona was looking for the Ishtar Mountains. Let's go! I'll protect you! Save the story for later. If its body starts to expand, then it's dangerous, right? Yeah, so all of you better be careful, alright? Here's a stone monument. This should be it. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Sewell. Thank you, Mel. You're incredible, Mel. Your magic is amazing. I'm really happy you're part of our group. Yeah, well... I guess that maybe she's... kind of... useful. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. Our friendship is proceeding apace. I am one step closer to realizing my ultimate goal. <laughs> uh, um, no? Don't take her seriously, kid. Just, just ignore her. Anyway, isn't it about time to do your thing? Uh, okay. Rene, Rene, Mark Arsu Sorna! Cloister of Time, open! Gems. Oh my! Well, that was something! Sophie, what was that magic? I am ever so interested and terribly, terribly excited! I must investigate Sophie immediately. Take off your clothes! Hurry! What? What? What's wrong, Mel? <laughs> For the advancement of science, no need to be embarrassed. Now, take it off! Oh, better, I'll just take your clothes off myself while I uh, examine you. N no, I don't want to! Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I won't hurt you, just trust me. <laughs> No! You're... 
your eyes! You're scaring me now! <laughs> Hey, knock it off! God damn it! Look, lady, you try any more of that pervy crap and you're out on your ass! But I'm no pervert! This is all in the name of science! I do this for the good of mankind! It's my hobby! I'm so sad. Knock it off! You aren't fooling anyone! If you want to stick around, then no more trying to take our clothes off, and no more analysis! Got it? Okay... Well, they do say if you can't beat them, join them. I guess I join them. Good! A promise made under duress is no promise at all. Did you say something? Oh, no, no, no! Nothing at all! I never say anything! Anyway... Thank you, both of you. Now we have the fifth gem. Thank you very much. Let's head back to the inn. That makes five gems we've managed to find. Yeah, only two more to go. Are you thinking about that fight again, Crace? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Were you reflecting on how cute their blunt attitude was? Or perhaps you found their tendency to lose their temper Endearing. What the hell? No, of course not! That's the spirit, Crace! We can't have our leader looking so negative. It will confuse the troops. Mel? So, who did you like the most? Knock it off! Get ready! Die! Seems about right. Sorry. Watch out, guys! I'll protect you! Seems about right! All worldly objects are too ephemeral! Let's go! I'll do my best! Yes! Good job, everybody! Let's go! I'll protect you! Alright! All worldly objects are too ephemeral!
Let's go! I'll protect you! Alright! Return to the world from whence you came! Get ready! I'll do my best! Alright! There will be none left to pick up your remains! Get ready! Oh, you're gonna regret this! Seems about right. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Come on, little lady. <laughs> you're saying you're too good to talk to me or so something? <laughs> Come on! Let's just play around a bit. <laughs> there, sweetheart. <laughs> we'll show you how to drink and how to... <laughs> how to play. <laughs> Keep your hands off me, creep! Now listen good! The only man who can touch me, Tenon Elliot, is my future husband! Got it? Hey, don't be like that! Let's be friends, babe! <laughs> Gosh, why is it that everywhere I go I have to run into idiots like these? Idiots? What the hell, lady? We try and treat you nice, and this is the thanks we get? It's time someone brought you down a peg, and I think that someone is us. You don't get it, do you? I'm not gonna waste my time on stupid old bastards like you. Just leave me alone. Bye. You biatch? Looks like we don't got no choice. We're gonna have to be a little rough on you. I know. We gotta help her. Hey, you all right, lady? You see? Good always wins. Now you know. Oh, were you planning to help me out? That's very nice of you. But I can take care of myself, thanks. Later. Strong girl. Cute and strong. Tanan Elliot. Elliot? Oh my gosh. Is she the daughter of the Elsa Ray family? Man, she was pretty strong, wasn't she? Yes, I was surprised. Ah oh, well, guess we should go back to the inn. Elliot, Elsa Ray. So, how many more gems do we need to gather? We need two more. Have you heard of the Forest of Doubt? Yeah, but who hasn't? It's pretty famous. It's east of Terum Cave, I think. Forest of Doubt, huh? Yes, yes! I wouldn't be surprised at all if there were a few magical... goodies still undiscovered there. I confess surprise that you've heard of the Forest of Doubt, Sophie. You know quite a bit for a child. 
Yes, yes, very clever, very observant. Why, when you get to be as old as I am. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You can't be that much older than she... No, wait, that's not what I meant to say. Still insisting on following us, huh? Of course. Why wouldn't I? My mission is to seek out new things and old, mysterious civilizations. I think your little, uh, treasure hunt here dovetails nicely with that. We will be friends forever and ever. <laughs> Best friends till death do we part. <laughs> you don't take a hint, do you? So oh, don't get upset. You know how they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. Yes? Oh, don't give me that crap. You ever hear of free will, self-determination? Destiny's a load of bull. <laughs> Sophie, stop grinning and say something. Are you sure you're okay with getting this crazy broad involved? We're not involving anyone. They're drawn to you is all. Mel won't be the last one either. There will be others. Many more people will find their way to you. Pulled by destiny. Our clock will begin to tick away the moments once again. Mr. Sewell, such are the stars you were born under. Stars? What are you talking about, kid? <laughs> well, boss says it's okay. It's not really my place to say no, is it? We got a lot to do tomorrow, so let's rest now, while we've got a chance. I can't sleep. Too much on my mind, I guess. Maybe a little fresh air will clear my head. Hello, Mr. Soul. What are you doing up so late? Same to you, kid. What's up? Isn't it time for kids to be in bed? I couldn't sleep. Um, do you want to come to my room and talk for a bit? Sure. Why not? Wow! Look, Mr. Sewell! Alto looks really pretty tonight. Yeah, I guess it does. When you look up at Alto, do you ever feel kind of... nostalgic? Yeah, I do. Only sometimes, though. Really? Yeah. Reminds me of looking at the night sky back when I was a kid. When you were a kid? <laughs> Something wrong? No! Alto's light is so bright tonight, you can barely see the stars. <laughs> Stars, huh? Oh yeah, you were spouting some weird stuff earlier. Something about being born under the stars, or destiny, or some such. Everyone is born into this world with a specific destiny. You, Melrose, and myself, all of us are here for a purpose. Yeah, that's just about what I thought you'd say. Can't say I really believe in any of that destiny bullcrap, though. You should. It believes in you. It's just how things work, Mr. Sewell. Our stories are written in the stars when we're born. We all have a per- Like hell! Mr. Sewell? What about all the lives that burned out before they got a chance to live up to whatever they were supposed to be? What about all the people who died before they even knew what their purpose was? Mr. Sewell... Sorry. It's not your fault. It wasn't right of me to take it out on you. No, that's not what I meant. I'm going to bed. Don't stay up too late, okay, kid? <sighs> I still can't accept it. That stuff you said about purpose. <clears throat> I had one, you know. Once. Screwed it up pretty good. But hey, story of my life, you know? Mr. Sewell.
The Forest of Doubt is north of Terram Wood, so it's east of Terram Cave. Huh. I'm pretty excited. Excited? This place is magical! <laughs> Just thinking about it gets me all... Uh, 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 excited. Really? Don't listen to her, kid. She's just... Uh, unique. Well, okay, maybe not totally unique. I did know one other person. Sorry, I gotta talk to Mel. Oh, okay. That's fine. Good night, then. Why, hello, Grace. What brings you here so late? Are you... No, I am not here to be dissected. <laughs> Why would I even do that? You... You beat me to it. Well, I think I know why you are here. You've come because you've been pondering what Sophie said. Am I right? I'm right. <clears throat> yeah, something about the alignment of the stars or something. I don't know what she meant. Well, Grace, I've come to believe your fleshy shell houses some very, very impressive mystical energies. I see that as a result of magical and chemical reactions. But I suppose Sophie sees it in a different way, yes? Yes. You think that's what it is? I mean, I don't feel anything. Yes, well, you see, the real question is how did you get this... thing? I think your birth must feature in the explanation. Uh... uh... How to say it? I think you were born with it. Any ideas? Do you remember your birth? Uh huh? Hmm, perhaps a little too nosy. A sensitive subject? Forget everything I just said. All of it. All right. Everybody's got a past they'd rather not share with other people. Clearly you do too. I should have remembered. Mel, have you got a past too? What? M me Well, a past? Um... Present, maybe? Present? Well, as you can see, I am a beautiful genius. It is not an easy life, you know. Quite a hard, many responsibilities. Sometimes all those burdens make me feel good, alive. But sometimes, I feel like they're going to crush me. When that happens, I just want to go away, far away go somewhere or I don't know anyone and just deal with myself really man I guess you really got your own problems too don't you oh you believe me <laughs> oh my you did <laughs> when a hot girl tells you about her feelings are you touched do you feel closer to her hmm? what you were just... Ah, oh, man, I can't believe I swallowed that crap. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Chris. <laughs> Sometimes you can't say the things you want without making them a joke, Chris. I think you know that pretty well. So, the Forest of Doubt. That's northwest of Terram Wood, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am. In fact, it should be due east of Terram Cave. You remember the cave, right? Right you are. But isn't there somewhere else we need to go first? <laughs> oh, there? Ah, uh, I suppose, when I feel like it. I don't want to fight another freak. Maybe it's better if I don't go.
<laughs> what are you laughing at? Grace, finally you understand the beauty and power of the library. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to know what to expect. Just admit it. We could leave, you know. Okay, okay. I was only kidding. Don't be like that, all right? Let's look around a little. Fine, just hurry it up. I want to get out of here. We should really check out the rest of those Explorer books. Oh! Sophie, Sophie, Sophie! Straight for the good stuff. The Kokona Explorers are what every Explorer hopes to be. They lead us across new horizons. How nice. Moving on. Oh, you are no fun at all. If I played along with you all the time, we'd never get anything done. Come on, kid. Let's go take a look. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. I'll help you this time. Oh, that's a surprise. The Kokona books here are in excellent condition, and there are hundreds of them. I won't get bored. That's great. Just make sure you don't get distracted, all right? Once you find what you're looking for, you tell us immediately, got it? Shoot! I can't put anything past you. <laughs> the Forest of Doubt. Fact or fiction? Our hot spring expose reveals the truth. Do they even try to make these sound believable? What does it say? Let me see. Oh, here! Give it to me! I see... Oh my... Yes! <gasps> Wonderful! What? what? What is it? This is my favorite episode! They go into the woods, you see! And they use magic to beat the stuffing out of a bunch of monsters! What kind of monsters, kid? Um... It looks like it was mostly ones with fire and petrification magic. All right, that's all we needed. Let's go. Are you sure? Mel looks kind of sad. Not my problem. She wants to read it, she can come back later and read it on her own time. I just wanted you to see how wonderful it was. <laughs> I only wanted you to understand the vital importance of being informed before setting off on a dangerous journey. Cute. And your real reason? Why, so we can discuss the absolutely awesome adventure of the Kokona to- <laughs> See what I mean, kid? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be faster if you and I do the research ourselves next time. We can leave Mel back at the inn. What? Alright, come on, guys. The force of doubt isn't coming to us.
啊？ There's a tree in the way. What should we do? Hmm. Well, there's another path. Oh ho! Let's go there then. No, wait. There might be something down there. Let me go check it out. All right, you two stay here. Excuse me, my feet are getting numb. Oh, is that so? Um. You saw. You saw me naked. Uh, well, you see, this is really just a big mistake. I didn't mean to. You know. That's not fair. I promised myself the only man to see me naked would be my husband. What am I gonna do? I'll just throw my body into the spring and drown. Whoa, whoa! Calm down. This isn't a big deal. Mr. Sewell, what are you saying? It is a big deal for girls. Indeed. <laughs> Simple! You should just marry me! That solves that problem! <laughs> what?! Uh, an interesting choice. Wait a minute here! That's not fair! What? W why not? You don't like me? But... But I... <laughs> you made her cry! Grace made her cry. Hey, look. This is... Look, this isn't about whether I like you or not. I only just met you. You're right. Okay, how's this? I'll follow you around everywhere until you become my husband. Does that sound all right, sweetheart? S sweetheart? What the hell? I mean... What makes you think it's okay for you to just follow me everywhere? Come on, you agree with me, right girls? Well, I can understand how Tinon feels. I want to support her. Oh yes, very much. Such a pure child. Why, it warms my heart. As they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. You should come with us, definitely. What? Thanks, you guys. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Tenon Elliot. I'm traveling around the world training and honing my skills. Nice to meet you all. Mr. Sewell is helping me look for gems. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gems? Uh, I guess you can fill me in as we go. Nice to meet you, Sophie. I'm Melrose Kirsch. Please call me Mel. I'm just a pretty little magician who happened by. It's a pleasure to meet you. Melrose 
Kirsch. Why have I heard that name before? Oh, you're the representative from the municipality of Mag... No, no, no. That is someone else entirely. I'm just a person like you. Right, Miss Elliot? Huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> right you are. Yep, yep. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mel. The poor, confused man over there is Mr. Sewell. Pull yourself together now. The Forest of Doubt is just ahead. What? Oh, uh, yeah, let's get going. It's wonderful to meet you, sweetheart. I'll do my best. Oh yeah, that spell you um, used earlier. Shutorm Vinto? Yes, I um haven't quite mastered it yet. Sometimes it just goes off when I get mad or surprised. Well, it doesn't really matter if you do it when you get mad. But don't you think it could be a uh, a problem when you're just surprised? Huh? What do you mean? Never mind. It's not important. Watch out, guys! This is the Forest of Doubt. Tanon, were you planning to come here too? Well, it wasn't my goal or anything, but I thought it might be a good place to train. Oh yeah! Why are all you guys out here anyway? We're gathering gems. Gems? You mean like rocks? Um... You know how they say, a picture is worth a thousand words? You'll understand soon enough, Tanon. I guess you're right. So, the Forest of Doubt. Is this everyone's first time? Well, I've never been here before. Doesn't look like anyone's been here before. True. Well, it's not like we've got a choice. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah! Man, this forest really lives up to its name. I guess. What's the matter, sweetheart? Is something wrong? Well, how would you feel if you found yourself babysitting a pack of nut jobs? <laughs> 